Yo, what up? This is Eclipse from Team Ruthless with Ecast Episode 3. Um, back to the gaming news. Um, let me start out with the gaming question. What do you guys think is the game of the decade from 2010 to 2020? What was the game that you think was like, oh my god, that impressed you so much that you think it's was above most of these other games that dropped? Something you think that probably pushed gaming um, forward or just made a big impact that you played a lot of? Um, be, feel free to put whatever you don't want. I put Smash Ultimate. For me, I think that was the game of the decade. Um, the roster to me still looks fucking crazy when you think about it. And yeah, it, it just, I felt like it made a huge comeback. Because Smash 4, in my opinion, was the worst Smash. Yes, worse than Brawl. I did not like Smash 4 at all. Don't know why. I just, I mean, I could tell you why, but without getting into further details, I didn't like it. Um, Smash Ultimate. Pretty much fixed everything that was wrong with it and added all the characters I wanted back and I I loved it. Yo, Smash Ultimate was my shit. <laughs> Definitely not probably played the least out of all the Smashes besides four for me. But yeah, in my opinion, the roster is just crazy and it's just fucking sick. Anyways, <laughs> I don't think there's any wrong answers. Someone said Halo 2. Uh, we were talking about this in the Clubhouse app. Shout out to GK who asked me that question. Um, and I figured I'd ask you guys as well. But yeah, um, pretty sick, pretty sick conversation, I thought. But yeah, tell me what your um, game of the decade is in the comments. And yeah, but for now, back to the gaming news. So, first thing first, Cyberpunk delayed again. The new date is December 10th. Um, I personally think this is a better date for it. And better for the games coming out this month. <laughs> and better... Uh, let's competition for cyberpunk. I'm not sure what's coming out next month, but I do think that's a better place for it I know it sucks. You guys have been waiting forever. This game has been delayed four or five times But hopefully it just makes the game be that much better when it drops um, Of course, you know COVID delaying damn near everything. So hopefully again, this is the best possible release for it um, Ghost of Tsushima dropped raids last week um, if you guys are playing that, hit me up. My PSN is my YouTube name. <laughs> um, I have been playing any chance I get, and I, I do have a lot of fun. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima multiplayer is pretty good. I thought it was going to be like Final Fantasy XV multiplayer, where it's just some tacked on bad experience, but it's pretty dope so far. And unlike Final Fantasy XV, they didn't charge us for it. So yeah, pretty sick. Assassin Creed got a Netflix deal. Apparently, it's supposed to have a bunch of different series, um, an animated series, live action series that came with the deal. Um, we'll see. Netflix has been doing pretty good, in my opinion, with the like Castlevania um, Netflix series, uh, the Witcher series. Those have been pretty good. I imagine they'll be on the same level as that. We'll see. Um, shout out to Danny for sending me this one. Sector's Edge Fortnite. Uh, I put Fortnite. Sector's Edge is a FPS game, in my opinion, kind of looks like the FPS version of Fortnite. It, 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 I played a little bit of it, and it's pretty fast paced. Um, I haven't played much of Fortnite, so there's no, I can't really compare it too well. You do build stuff, but it, it does, it just seems like you build bridges and walls. I don't know what exactly you build in Fortnite. It, it, to me, it looks like people be building houses in Fortnite, so. Um, but it looks pretty cool and I think it's free to play so you can try it um, I think it, it looks more simple in my opinion than Fortnite is um, it could be a sleeper so definitely try it out uh, some Nintendo news no more heroes 1 and 2 dropped last week I'm definitely gonna be picking those up um, they're I think they're on sale right now for a couple dollars cheaper uh, digitally and it's hyping up No More Heroes 3 coming in 2021. Um, shout out to Art for always putting me on to the No More Heroes series. I can't wait to try them and play, finally play them. They look like really dope action games. And it looks like to be making a, a lot of uh, commotion. People seem to be hype about the game. So Zelda Age of Calamity, the demo drop. That game is coming out this month, I believe. I don't know exactly you know the date right now. And I played a little bit of that too, and it's pretty fun. I think the Zelda Warrior series has the best combat, in my opinion, 
compared to all the other warrior games even like strike force like to me zelda i don't know why but the combat in zelda i don't know if it just meshes well when they try to like combine the zelda aspects to the uh warriors aspect but it does and it, it, it's flu uh my only complaint about the game is the frames seem kind of eh but other than that the combat's fluid and it's it's very fun to play um i wish it was online co-op it sucks that it's not but you know local co-op is, is cool we still need more local co-op games coming so um i'm definitely gonna enjoy it i plan on picking up picking it up i might not pick it up right away but i'm definitely gonna get it eventually probably before the year is up and uh i'll be playing the heck out of it let me know if y'all want to see gameplay videos of that um if i have some cool ideas i'll probably do it anyways but yeah let me know <laughs> uh tribes of midgard 10 player co-op survival game coming to ps5 2021 now i saw gameplay trailer for this and it looks pretty cool it looks very like diablo-esque um but I guess with more added, like survive, then you know the the traditional survivor joints coming out nowadays, where you like build up a village or whatever town and protection. But the combat actually did not look too bad. It looked like a little, like again, look very Diablo-esque, where you it's top down and it looks like you do like spells. You can be ranged or you can be close combat, and you like you fight like these giants or whatever. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely keeping an eye on it and. I don't know if it's gonna be free or not. It kind of looks like a free to play game. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna be real, but it could be pretty cool, man. Uh, Haven. Haven is a co-op RPG about like lovers, and it looks like I looked at the gameplay for this. It looks pretty cool. It looks like it's a game centered around couples, and I, I don't think I've ever seen that. And centered around couples, and also looks centered for couples. And I think that'd be really dope. I might try to talk my girl into like playing it with me. Um, it looks pretty cool. And it looks pretty simple, like an open world RPG, turn-based RPG, where you like gather and collect things too. It, it's very interesting, um, and I like the look of the characters. I like the art and the, the style of the game. And it looks pretty dope, to be honest. I'm definitely interested. I'm gonna see how it turns out before I get it. Uh, it's an indie game, of course, um, but it looks cool. It looks cute. Definitely check, keep your eye on that. Um, so they also drop more information about final fantasy 16 about the three they call them the heroes they haven't i don't think they said anywhere if these other two characters are playable so since all the gameplay they show shows to be clive so the three characters are clive joshua and jill clive is the main guy he's some like knight i guess who protect sworn to protect joshua joshua is his little brother he has like the spirit of the phoenix in him or I wouldn't say spirit, you know, guardian force, <laughs> depending on what Final Fantasy game you've played. Um, I forgot what the they call them in 16, but yeah. Um, I, I was making a joke saying they brought Junction back and he he has Junction Phoenix to him, but um, it, it seems like to be based kind of like that, where they, I guess, certain individuals embody the um, power or spirit of the guardian force. So Joshua has his little brother has Phoenix embodied in him, and Jill is some random chick they found, <laughs> or she's from somewhere else and they picked her up. Uh, the detail I'll have a link for the real details, but uh, definitely check that out. It I am excited for this game. I think Final Fantasy should be moving towards more being more of an action game, open world action game. Um, I am a little bit worried that it's going to be too action-y. Like, it looks very... It looks too much like Devil May Cry. And I know they said that the Devil May Cry um, director is, like, handling the combat or, combat or whatever. But I do like having a party system in Final Fantasy. I do like the RPG elements of Final Fantasy. I hope we don't lose that for a direct combat it's game. Like, and I... I would love like a Final Fantasy game spinoffs for with other characters in a more action format, but as for like a Final Fantasy, you know, new title, I would love it to be more RPG-ish. Or a mixture of both. I thought Final Fantasy VII Remake did a pretty decent job on combining both worlds. My only complaint about Final Fantasy VII R, I think, was 
Um, more, more so, the ranged characters never focus in the the enemies out of reach. Um, but that was very small, and you know, a few commands usually fix that. So, even though I wish they did automatically, but again, very small complaint about it. And I think I don't know if FF7 remake combat can get too much better with that same system, but I do think it's a pretty solid place for it. Um, and that's all I gotta say about that. Epic Games character. So Fortnite, Epic Games kind of teased a um, a possible crossover event with Smash Bros. It could mean a character coming to uh, a Fortnite character coming to Smash Bros. But I don't know. I don't even know what Epic Games, the other games they own. So. I don't know what else other character that, that from Epic Games could come to Smash, but Fortnite is their biggest one, so I could see that. It'd be kind of weird with Steve and a Fortnite character come, because they're kind of the same thing, right? Except with guns. Um, I don't know. Interested to see how that work. That character sounds... If they do make that a character in Smash, he sounds more... I don't know. It sounds, it sounds like AIDS. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> A ranged character who can build walls around you. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what that moveset would look like, but I couldn't tell you what uh, Steve's moveset would be. So, uh, Borderlands dropping an update. I don't know if this came out already or it's coming out. And they're doing like a challenge mode um, where like you start with no weapons, no like level one, and you like use what you find and that's kind of what the PSO I don't know if you know what guys know what fantasy star online is but that's pretty much a it's not a bite but that was pretty much challenge challenge mode in PSO and I think that's cool man I think it's I feel like more games especially like Borderlands need to bite off what P, the original PSO did um challenge mode is definitely cool it's a fun um Fun way to like test how good you are at the game, kind of, and how um, adaptable you are, and it, it's pretty cool, man. I, I I can't wait to try it. I don't know when I'm gonna try it because I don't have Borderlands 3 yet. But when I do, I definitely am gonna be looking forward to trying that mode. I do not know what it's called on the extra Borderlands, but I'm calling it Challenge Mode because it, it is a buy off of PSO. So. Um, Pacer, an F-Zero or Wipeout-like game has dropped on Steam. It looks pretty cool. Um, if you're an F-Zero fan or Wipeout fan, definitely look at it. Um, it looks pretty dope. Uh, League of Legends series has announced a, a single-player RPG for the Switch. Remember, guys, that League of Legends has said that they are planning on, on dropping a lot of different spinoffs for the game. I believe there's a fighting game in the works. Um, I think they have talked about more different kinds of single player at games. I think it's dope. I think League of Legends, everybody kind of knows, if you if you play video games, if you're on the internet, kind of knows the League of Legends, some League of Legends characters, and I think this is a cool way to like build upon the lore of those characters and build these characters into um, legends like Mario and Link. And these characters, if they if League of Legends does it right, I really think these characters could end up being bigger and better and where even if you're not a League of Legends fan of the mobile style games, you might be a fan of their fighting games. You might be a fan of whatever. They might drop some co-op RPGs that are lit. We don't know yet. Um, it's pretty sick, though. And I really think that's dope of League of Legends. Uh, Black Panther and War Machine designs leak for the Avenger game. Um, I didn't see War Machines yet, but Black Panther looked okay. I think it looks like a little mixture of Crossbones, Captain America, and Taskmaster. But he has a pretty cool look. Um... I think they're gonna end up dropping all four characters at the same time, which I think is very smart because so that way people don't have to fight over one character. Um, but to be honest, I think the Avenger game is trash. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's trash, but it's definitely not worth sixty dollars in my opinion, and they definitely need to have a lot they need to fix. Now the game has been getting better, but I also think the content is very lackluster. Um, Genshin Impact, in my opinion, is a free-to-play game with way more content and way more stuff to do 
and I have way more fun with the different characters they have in that game than I do Avengers. And I'm a huge Marvel fan. Um, so in my opinion, it, it sucks that the Avengers game, I'd rather be playing Avengers, but in my opinion, the game is trash. Um, I do think in time the game will be good, but I think that's bad. I don't think that's, I don't think people should be dropping games that are only going to be good in the future. Like if you drop a game, that means it should be ready to go and it should be at least a solid game with solid content, um, especially for $60. And especially when they're talking about $70 games next gen and these free to play games are putting these $60 games to shame. Speaking of Genshin Impact, a uh, patch release date announced and details. I think they're dropping new characters, more con another uh, con continent, island area. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, Genshin Impact has been really fun. I haven't been playing it super hard, but it is something I hop on every once in a while when I got nothing to do and I don't feel like um, playing anything serious or I have to think about. Um, I think it's a pretty fun game, man, and it has a lot of content, and it has some um, pretty tough content, too, um, but it's really cool. Monster Hunter Rise shows off some great sword gameplay. I'll put that link in the description. Um, I'm really looking forward to Monster Hunter Rise. Um, I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish it was on consoles and PC, um, but I am glad that Switch is getting the love it needs still, and especially for Monster Hunter. And I'm actually look the great the gameplay looks really dope to me. They're really showing off the um, those uh, I forgot what they're called um, <laughs> the little grapple hook bug feature. It looks really sick. Uh, Spider Man PS4 is or oh, Spider Man Miles Morales has showed off the animated costume, which is sick. Um, it's kind of cool that Sony does own Spider Man because they're able to get do that. They're able to add the Spider Man. Um, animated series or animated movie costume to the game. It looks pretty cool. It's it's like animated in a style like he's the only thing um, <laughs> with that kind of style when he's using the costume. So he kind of looks out of place and it looks weird, but it looks cool at the same time. Um, pretty sick. Uh, some news y'all probably won't care about, but the OG Game Boy gets a new RPG called Dragonborn. And I don't really care about it, but it, it's weird. It's weird that this generation there's been a bunch of announcements about like games jumping on old consoles like wasn't there like a dreamcast release not too long ago and a super nintendo release i don't get it um but yeah i think that's all i had i'm trying to keep these videos shorter <laughs> man so oh yeah and thank you everybody who showed up to the halloween screen stream we had a lot of fun um i hope to do more events like that for other games and stuff we were playing among us and phasmophobia um i hope to do more of those and I hope you guys have fun who joined. Um, I had a good time. And, and again, Fight Night is Friday, like always, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, feel free to come through. Um, I'm kind of on the fence of starting with Damon X Machina. I don't want to say that too loud because I know you guys love it, uh, the people that show up. But we literally only had four people show up last week for it. Um, I have more we have more fun with Smash Bros. And now I have Splatoon too. So if you guys want to play that too, we might want to start with Smash Bros and end up in Splatoon too. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so also if you guys want to switch it up for Fight Night, if I have the game, I'm down for whatever. If we get people to show up, let's do it. Um Fight Night is a uh, very fun for me, man. I, I I like to keep it going. So um, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'm out. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Tomorrow's gonna be a great, tomorrow's a very important day. And I just want everyone to be safe. And I want you guys to know no matter what happens, like we're gonna be okay. Like, <laughs> no matter what happens, we'll be okay. Um, and I'm with y'all. And again, hit me up if y'all wanna talk, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the two, join the Discord, and just hit me up on any gaming platform, man. I got it all right now. So, <laughs> yeah, now I'm out, for real. Deuces.